Hey guys, so some time ago I made a video where I talk about some of my thoughts on Tumblr and how it is one of my favourite social media platforms. However, there is one criticism which I regularly level against Tumblr, and that's the inability to hide reblogged posts. Now, for those of you that are unaware of the concept, reblogged posts on Tumblr are almost identical to the retweeted tweets on Twitter. However, unlike Twitter, you are not able to hide reblogged posts from your Tumblr feed. And this is something which I've found to be quite annoying over the years. As you can see from this screenshot here, I have got, I am following 56 blogs. And, um, most of those blogs retweet more than they create original content. Now, I very much enjoy following a lot of the blogs that I do follow, but it is kind of annoying when your Tumblr feed is cluttered up with reblogs from blogs that you wouldn't generally follow anyway. I mean, if I wanted to follow the blogs that people were retweeting, I'd follow the blogs directly. And I do feel that Tumblr as a social media platform is fantastic at creating a platform that is uh, friendly for creators and uh, collaborators and the like, but yeah, it can very easily be buried under a lot of retweeted content, which is, you know, something that I'm not particularly interested in. If I follow your blog, I'm following it because I want to follow your blog, not the blogs that you follow. So for some time, I didn't actually believe that it was possible to hide reblogged content on Tumblr. I even had a look for a fair number of extensions, including the infamous missing E, but, uh, no such luck. But I did decide to have another poke around the old interwebs recently, and I have found something which I'm sure you guys might enjoy taking a gander at. It's called XKit. The version that I'm running is XKit 7. It's a browser extension that runs on Chrome. Well, that's what I'm running, uh, running it on right here, but it is available for other browsers. And it doesn't just hide reblogged posts. It does a whole bunch of other things. So, as you can see here from this little screencast I've got going on, uh, I've got a little option here, show originals. So I am currently showing only original content. So you've got here, I've got fishing boat proceeds, which of course is John Green's Tumblr. I've got uh, magical nature tour, which is a photo blog, Oxistant, city landscape. So you, as you can see, I do follow a lot of photo blogs and um, uh, John Green again. As you can see, that is exactly the kind of content that I follow. I like photo blogs and I like the Vlog Brothers. That's, you know, that's it's great for Tumblr. Um, cool. Oh, there's um, uh, Schrader down there. More for me. See, and this is the kind of stuff. F yeah, Nerd Fighters, yada yada, Wheezy Waiter. And I can see all of the blogs that I follow there and then without having to uh, just wade my way through stuff that other people are following that they think is interesting. If they think it's interesting, that's great, but we don't need to share every little thing that we find mildly amusing on the internet, which I think Tumblr is a little bit guilty of. And it would be nice if this was, of course, built into the Tumblr infrastructure. But Tumblr, being a very open platform and very open to collaboration, has actually made it very easy for people to... Um, to build browser extensions that can actually improve the interface. And that's actually fantastic. That's one of the reasons why I like Tumblr and Twitter as well, is because both of those social media platforms allow people to actually modify the interface through browser extensions. So anyway, let's take a look at the website. I've got the uh, the website here. It's free to download. I believe it's um, the term they use is donationware. So if you feel that these guys are doing a good job, then it's definitely worth uh, throwing a few quid their way. But there are a lot of things that you can actually do, not just hide reblogged posts with this particular add-on. 40 plus in one. So you can reblog yourself. So if you uh, create some particularly uh, interesting content um, that you would actually like to put to the top of your Tumblr blog once again, um, then that's a pretty pretty useful function. Blacklist words, again, that can be very useful, particularly if you're easily triggered. Um, you can shorten long posts, although that is already in there, I believe. Um, you can even automatically scroll your dashboard with more than four, uh, yeah. So you can absolutely completely, well not completely, but you can very much customize your Tumblr experience. So they have a pretty full featured website, easy enough to donate. Um, there's some, tell, there's some tips. Reply to notifications, reply to multiple notifications at once, get new extensions, disabled. But anyway, this is the website. You guys can have a look at it at your own leisure. It's uh, xkit.info. I will, of course, put the link down in the description. And um, But let's get back onto Tumblr and let's have a look at, uh, at some of the other things that this uh, content can do. But just to give you a bit of a uh, sort of reiteration as to why I'm not a big fan of display my reblogged post is that you can quite easily just turn that off by, cl by clicking here and I'd imagine you'd want to refresh. 
that annoying little pop-up comes up. Um, there you go. So it's got it's starting with the reblog posts, reblog posts, more reblog posts, more reblog posts, more reblog posts. And it's not entirely that I necessarily dislike the stuff that's even reblogged. It's just um, there's a reason why I'm not, by and large, following it. So, um, so yeah, you can see it's certainly very much diluted my content. And a lot of the stuff, like I say, it's not um, a lot of it. You know, it's created by by people who I I don't follow for a reason, even if their content is something that isn't. You know, is, even if their content's pretty good. So anyway. We'll uh, stick that back on. But as you can see here, there's a little button, an additional button up here on the Tumblr dashboard, and this is how you access uh, XKit. So it comes up with a very sort of professional and sleek looking interface. It's got the X inbox, which I haven't really uh, had a look at. I think it just modifies the Tumblr inbox. Um, so you've got one click postage. Um, everything here except for the show originals was uh, installed by default. You've got one click replies, you've got little tweaks here for like wrapping tags, uh, little little cosmetic changes. Um, red, uh, use a real red on the notifications and like posts, all these kind of things. So it will take you a fair amount of time to hide my URL. Oh, that's an interesting one. Uh, hide my follow account, hide my post count. So there you go, you can actually have a lot more minimal um, sort of uh, Tumblr front page, which is great. Um, but let's have a look at some of the other extensions here as well, because there are a lot of them. You can have tags on sidebar, timestamps, classic header, enhanced queuing, uh, post crushes, let you share your Tumblr crushes. Interesting, I'm not really sure how that works. Reblog yourself, classic search, color quotes. Audio downloader, one live cat on your dashboard, just for fun, I guess. Notifications plus, panorama, widescreen dashboard, read more now, soft refresh, blacklist. Uh, that one here, uh, Yoohoo, is, uh, that's just a, a, f a funny one that's in there for a joke. It doesn't actually do anything. Uh, you can browse safely in public. Oh, that one there, that's quite good. If you uh, surf Tumblr at work and you want a safe for work dashboard, that doesn't display photos unless you hover over them, which is pretty useful. You can reblog as text as well. That's also useful. Uh, you can mute. I assume that's an audible mute there. Bookmarkers, access kit, user menus, glowing follow, open in tabs, auto scroll. Themes, shortened posts, Tumblr editor, highlighter, mass plot. Oh, it's shortened posts. Um, just to make scrolling easier. Um, xCloud, what's that? Oh, sync xKit data on clouds. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I might have to start looking into that one. Oh, so you can synchronize all your settings here. That's very, very useful. Post, dim old posts, auto tagger. Oh, that's nice. Auto tagger. Like uh, like what I imagine they do with YouTube videos. Enhancements to the audio player, profiler, convert links, mass deleter, blog tracker, view on dash, view blogs on your dash. Uh, say, oh, that's good, because the number of times I've visited someone's uh, Tumblr blog and their theme has either been broken, not compatible with modern browsers, or just really badly sort of color schemed, to be able to view that on a Tumblr dash would be fantastic, because some people put out really good content in really bad ways. Um, you can view your tags, unreverse, place post buttons at the top. Oh, that's nice. There is a lot here. And I've only scratched the surface in my personal test here, but this is something that I really wanted to shout from the rooftops because these guys have put a lot of work into this particular browser extension, and there is a lot of good coming out of it. I will almost certainly be having a good solid look through uh, after I finish recording this video. But like I said, I kind of wanted to shout this one from the rooftops because it certainly deserves it. Uh, if you guys are using uh, Tumblr, and if you particularly if you use it regularly, and if you're a, um, a consumer of the content as well, not just someone who posts things, then it's particularly useful there. But then again, it's useful for just about anyone that uses Tumblr. Um, and uh, yeah, free to download, available on uh, multiple browsers, I'm quite sure. I will just uh, uh, confirm that. Chrome, Firefox, Safari. There's also an FAQ. You have to disable other browsers, uh, other um, uh, Tumblr extensions as well, or at least it's not supported with other Tumblr extensions. I guess you can kind of see why that is, considering that it's so expansive and uh, conflicting browser extensions might tread on each other's toes, but there you go. 
So some of the uh, yeah, some of the the FAQs here are browser specific as well. That's pretty useful. They've actually put a lot of thought into this website. There is a lot of uh, there's a lot of lot of talent on display here, and I've got to got to really big it up for these guys. Okay, so yeah, you guys have seen it for yourself. I couldn't recommend this more. I've not come across a single bug yet, but I'm not saying that there aren't the there are more than likely bugs in the software because it is such a complex complex. Um, browser extension but that being said it looks incredibly well put together by some incredibly talented people and i strongly suggest that if you are a user of the great social media platform tumblr i strongly advise you guys to check it out especially if you like me are just tired of following blogs that you're not actually following because of the whole reblog thing it would be nice if tumblr put a lot of these inside the uh the website itself but then again um you've got to give kudos to tumblr for actually making their uh, social media platform customizable the way that it is because maybe you might not be an X kit person maybe you might like missing e better although admittedly having used missing e and having used this this is infinitely better than missing e so anyway guys that's just a few thoughts on X kit 7 which is the version that they are up to now um, very well maintained very well put together um, and if you guys can afford it I'd recommend you donate if you get some use out of it uh, so that's about it for me today thank you very very much for watching of course the website xkit.info will be down in the description below and uh, until next time I've been Chris Ware and you have been awesome take care now